Also on Saturday, the Coldwater Cavaliers will be playing for their eighth straight regional final and their 15th in the last 17 years. So extended football season, certainly nothing new in Mercer County. Today, Cavaliers not only practiced indoors, but practiced before school in an early morning session to help keep the kids fresh and healthy. Last week's win over here on Coldwater did lose three starters to injuries. Quarterback and safety Brody Hoying returned with an ankle injury and is expected to play against Liberty Benton. Cavs are still waiting to hear about defensive starters Mitch Fullenkamp and Colin Seitz. Coldwater knows they'll be tested against the undefeated Eagles and their potent offense. If these guys are hungry, they're experienced guys, and we played them two years ago, and I think five or six of these guys that are still playing uh, were starters. And so, so they probably remember that um, that that game, and and so uh, they're seniors and they're experienced. And they played a lot, and they play they they play all the time. So so they they've got a lot of plays, and I guess in some ways that, that maybe is our advantage that they're playing so much, uh, playing both ways in special teams. So, but uh, I'd say that's what stands out the most. That, that, that offensively, they can um, they can hammer that hammer their big fullback and the quarterback run the ball and. All of a sudden, the first quarter's over, and, you, and our offense hasn't been out there. So, so that's that's a concern. They're a lot bigger than a lot of teams we played, and they're pretty good. They have a good tailback, a good receiver, and not and a pretty good quarterback. So, we're gonna have to handle that well. Um, I think it should be good. It'll be a hard-fought battle, but um, I believe in our team, and I trust in our team that we're gonna do what we need to do.